Time to check out some Sega Genesis Protos, and I gotta say, some of these are awesome, so you gotta check them out with me. First, let's start with this one called Akira, which is based on a movie. And the first stage has you riding a motorcycle going through the city, and the background is pretty incredible. Then you're wandering around through, I guess, a hospital, and you're shooting people with your psych powers. And then you go down into the sewer. This is a pretty good one, too. Avoid the rats. And then here we are back in another uh, first-person perspective kind of part of the game. Using the map helps down below. And then we got this one that's got some really amazing scrolling on the top and bottom there. That looks so cool. And the voice is really good too when these guys die. No, no! And then this one didn't quite work. Um, I can shoot one thing and blast those guys, but then when I try to blast the other guys, it doesn't do anything. And then this is the final stage where I guess you just stare down your enemy and wait for him to leave because nothing happened on the screen at all. Alright, next let's check Let out Barkley Shut Up and Jam 2. The original game, I guess, was a moderate success. Uh, I guess enough to make a sequel. It's clearly trying to be a street ball version of NBA Jam. The animation feels a little uh, wonky. It's not very smooth. You just kind of see how the characters are bouncing around there. There's also a prototype of the original game for the Jaguar, which is pretty cool. I don't know, I think I'd rather just play NBA Jam. The next game is called Beast Ball, which... On the Jaguar, it's called Brutal Sports Football, and I think on the Amiga, it's Brutal Sports Football, too. But, yeah, this game is really good. I like it. It is a little bit uh, slow, especially in comparison to the Jaguar version, and it's not quite as colorful, but it's still pretty fun. I like how the, the ground gets all torn up, just like in the Jag version. Alright, this one's called the Berenstain Bears Camping Adventure, and it seems like a little fun uh, platformer game. I don't know the names of the characters, but I think... Isn't her name Sister? This is kind of a neat mechanic, jumping on the boulders and going up high on the platforms like that. This is supposed to be a nice little stroll through the woods, but I'm getting attacked by animals and everything everywhere. Alright, this one's called Beyond Zero Tolerance, which is the sequel to uh, the first person shooter Zero Tolerance on the Genesis. I like that part where the blood, or I guess it's the oil running down the side of the uh, the wall there. It's kind of a neat little game, but I don't like that it's restricted to a really small window, but that's just a limitation of the Genesis powers. Alright, this one is called uh, Chaos Engine 2 by the Bitmap Brothers. And they make some really good games, but I couldn't figure out what to do here. There wasn't, uh, wasn't any enemies to shoot. And just wandering around. Plus, I don't like that it's uh, split screen like this. I don't think I chose two player, but that's how it goes. Alright, this one's called Command and Conquer. It's a pretty well known uh, computer game. As you can see, there's really not a whole lot going on here. I can kind of scroll around the map and stuff, but that's about it. Now here's Congo. Now I did the Super Nintendo version of Congo, which was, I thought, kind of neat. I like the water effects. This one's got some pretty nice water effects too, but they don't kind of warp like they do on the Super Nintendo version. This one was missing the uh, shooting part at the beginning with uh, the gorillas. I guess they thought that uh, shooting gorillas is probably not that good of an idea. But the animation of the boat's pretty good anyway. Oh, I got hit by a boulder. Alright, this one's called Denny Sullivan's Indie Heat. And it kind of reminded me of uh, Super Sprint for uh, uh, arcades. It's kind of a well-known Atari game. 
that first stage is kind of boring looking, but this one looks really neat. Unfortunately, it kind of cuts off at the top, so I couldn't really see what I was doing there, going around that corner. I don't know if that's a limitation of the, uh, the ROM or, or something else. Alright, this one's called Davis Cup Tennis. It has some really nice voices, at least. 15 block. But, um, it's definitely no virtual tennis. Yeah, I suck. All right, and then this is me trying to serve, which clearly I can't even seem to hit the ball. Oh, there we go. And it hit the net. I could never get one in. I tried for like five minutes. I could never get one in. All right, here's Dragon's Lair, which actually is pretty dang good. Way better than the uh, Nintendo version, that's for sure. Just kind of going around the outside part of the castle killing snakes and there's a dragon. I thought this was pretty funny. You got a little Dirk the Daring guy with feet walking around. And make sure you get the knife. The voices are pretty good. And this one's called Dino Blaze, which totally surprised me with this uh, Terminator music playing in the background. Terminator. But uh, apparently it's a uh, like alligator or something on roller skates and using a hockey stick. I'm not sure what's going on here. And now I've got these hockey ninjas attacking me. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea for a game, hockey ninjas. The, the graphics are kind of bland on this one though. Alright, here's Fido Dido. Standing on a stapler, being thrown up in the air really high. This looks like it could have been a nice uh, little platform game. Oh, I can't fall down there. There's like a helicopter blade or something. I guess we wouldn't want our main character chopped up into little bits. Alright, here's one called Flashpoint, which I thought was going to be a shooter game, but clearly it's some kind of a Tetris derivative. And after a little bit, I figured out what you're supposed to do is just get rid of those two flashing blocks. And once you do that, you can move on to the next stage. And then the whole thing just like explodes. <laughs> so the next stage, that's all I did is just worry about trying to get that one flashing square. And boom, there we go. I could see where this would be addictive, but it obviously feels like a Tetris ripoff. I think they might get sued. Alright, this one's called Frog Dude, and a very colorful platformer. Collecting apples, I guess, there. Because, you know, frogs love apples. And every so often, my character would turn into a frog. I think I'm hitting one of the buttons. Yeah, like right there, I'm hitting the button. And he kind of turns into a frog, but nothing else seems to happen. All right, here's one called It Came From The Desert. I had high hopes for this game, but I couldn't even get past this first stage here where I guess the ants are coming at me from underground. I barely squeaked through that part, but if you touch any of those uh, spots where they've already gone underground, then you die. Here we go, Itchy and Scratchy the game. Fight, 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 fight. The Itchy and Scratchy game. <laughs> This definitely reminds me of uh, something out of the Flintstones. In fact, the music kind of sounds like the Flintstones. I'm sure there's different stages, but this is as far as I could get. It's pretty fun uh, smashing uh, the cat. Is that scratchy or itchy? I don't know which one is which. <laughs> Here's one called Jelly Boy, which, I don't know, it kind of reminded me of a boy and his blob in a way. Because your character, depending on different things that he gets, can change into things. Like you'll see here in a second, I'm going to get this uh, little balloon. And now I've turned into a balloon and I can float around. But only for a few seconds, which, I don't know, I'd be better if it lasted as long as you wanted it to. And now I'm a hammer. I'm smashing blocks here. 
That looks slightly awkward. And here's a kind of a well-known prototype called Jim Power. It's got some really awkward scrolling. It, it always seemed to be backwards. Shouldn't the mountains go the other way? But the, the graphics are amazing. The gameplay is pretty good too. Except for the scrolling, I'm kind of sad this game didn't come out. Okay, here's Ninja Gaiden, which is kind of sort of based on the arcade game. Because as you can see, I'm, I'm beating up guys instead of uh, slashing them like in the Nintendo version. So satisfying to beat these guys up. The backgrounds are a little bit dull, but you know, they think they, they could have made them a, a bit better over time. Here's one called Nuclear Rush, and this seemed to be some kind of a VR game because it would say at the beginning, you know, no VR helmet detected. Kind of reminds me of air cars for the Jaguar. You're kind of, you know, flying around and just shooting bad guys. This is kind of fun, actually. I like this one. Music stutters just a little bit. Here's one called Rescue, and I think this game was actually completed. I'll figure out what to do here. See, here I'm trying to save this guy, and uh, he's not getting in my ship. Well, I'll just leave you. See ya. See ya, dude. <laughs> And here's Road Riot 4-Wheel Drive, which is based on the Atari arcade game. It's a little bit slow, the animation is kind of choppy. There's only four racers you have to battle. Here we are in Australia. It's got some nice hills. Alright, here's one called Robot Wreckage. Kind of reminds me of Cosmic Carnage for the 32X. This one's not too bad. I can see where it could have been a fun game. Here's one called Space Hero, which is very, very clearly a Star Raiders ripoff. You travel from sector to sector and defend your bases. Let's go to another sector. This is kind of a fun game, it's too bad they didn't finish it. Alright, here's a big one. Star Wars by JVC, I think it was. Of course, there was a Super Nintendo version of this game. I don't like that Luke's lightsaber is white here. This would have been like uh, racing through Tatooine on the land speeder. And then here we are attacking a, a gentle, gentle Bantha. I don't know why we're trying to kill a bantha here, but that's just what's in the game. And here we are in the cantina. I kept looking for Han Solo in, in the background there, but I didn't see him. And here we are on the Death Star. This would be the hangar bay. And there's a TIE Fighter. Alright, here's uh, Swamp Thing. Which, I love the movie Swamp Thing, but uh, I don't know, this game just doesn't quite... Just do it for me. I love the way this jumping thing is. Is it like a ska jump or something? I don't know. Jump, jump, man, jump. 
And then I fall down into this pit and go into hell, I guess it is. So now I'm swimming through hell. Um, is that part of the comic book? Because I surely don't remember it from the movie. Okay, here's a game called Time Tracks, which I believe there's a Super Nintendo prototype as well. And uh, I think they're pretty similar. But uh, yeah, I was having fun with this one. I kind of like just beating up the guys and collecting the uh, coins and stuff. That's fun. I guess there should have been a transparency in front, but instead they had to like dither it. Okay, here's one called Wacky Races, which is definitely a Mario Kart clone. And, you know, it does an admirable job of kind of replicating Mario Kart. I mean, even right down to the fact that it's only half the screen being used. It was very slippery controls, though. Alright, here's uh, Waterworld, the massive hit with Kevin Costner. I can't understand why this game didn't come out. Just going around shooting boats and stuff. I think I'm trying to get to the Atoll. Alright, here's one called Worms, which is a pretty well-known uh, game that I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. <laughs> I guess you should uh, be shooting the enemy worms on the other side, but I'm just like randomly shooting at them. Probably my own team members. Okay, there's one I shot at, a, at an angle. And here's one I meant to shoot at an angle, but oops, I just killed myself by accident. <laughs> All right, here's uh, Young Indiana Jones, which I whipped these guys a bunch of times and nothing happened. They seem to have an unlimited number of knives, though. And then now I'm just kind of wandering around trying to figure out what to do next. Okay, here's a game called Zombie High. And this is kind of a neat one where I'm just kind of going around shooting um, zombie guys or whatever. You have to shoot them twice and their head pops off and they explode. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Zombies Ate My Neighbors a little bit. More of a side-scroller version of that. Get out of the slime! Get out of the slime! T stop shooting me! Stop shooting me! Oh, I'm dead. Alright, well there you have it. There's some Sega Genesis prototype games. Some of them are pretty dang amazing if you ask me. If you have any Sega Genesis protos you think I should play, just let me know down in the comments. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye, everybody.